The state of Manipur in the northeast of India has been rocked by ethnic violence since May in a conflict marked by brutal murders and sexual crimes against women. The fighting is between the majority Mai Tai and minority Kuki communities and it's left more than 200 dead. The state is deeply divided and amid claims that the government has been slow to step in, civilians are taking matters into their own hands. This report by Yogita Limai contains some distressing details. The road that divides a people who used to live peacefully together now feels like a heavily militarized border between countries at war. Sir, we crossed seven checkpoints run by security forces, traveling between two communities in a single state, completely separated since ethnic violence in May. On both sides, we couldn't pass without permission from locals. One sign that people are taking matters into their own hands. This is another, a bunker run by civilians. These are men from the Kuki minority who live in Manipur's hills. Their guns aimed at an opposing bunker of the Mai Thai majority who live in the valley. Kakam, as he wants to be called, is a labourer. We are compelled to pick up arms to defend ourselves. We don't want violence, but we don't fully trust that the security forces will be able to protect us. The men who are in this bunker were civilians doing ordinary jobs like farming or keeping a shop now the words that you hear are words that you hear during war. For example, this is being referred to as a front line. What's beyond this is being referred to as a buffer zone or no man's land. And it feels extremely tense. It feels like things could erupt very quickly, even with the slightest spark. The conflict that broke out four months ago descended from tensions over quotas in education and jobs, land rights and political power but the scale was unexpected. In the first few days, the dead were overwhelmingly from the cookie minority. They still account for two thirds of all casualties. The violence was savage. This video shows two cookie women paraded naked. One of them allegedly gang raped by the same mob. Her father and brother killed. We spoke to her mother. The family can't be identified according to Indian laws on rape. My husband's arms were slashed with knives. My 19-year-old son was brutally beaten with rods. When I watched the video of what was done to my daughter, it made me want to die. Since the first wave of violence, the killings continue. Kumathik barely sleeps or eats since his son's death. This family's words almost unbearable to hear. But Abraham wants everyone to know what they've been through. He tells us his brother David was tortured and killed by Maithai men in July. And a video of his severed head placed on a fence surfaced a day later. It is extremely painful. I don't even keep his photos on my phone because when I see them, I think of disturbing things. We travelled out of the cookie areas. At the end of each journey, stories that explain how the divide became so deep so quickly. This is a Mai Thai home in mourning. Silbia Sagulsem tells us her husband Naleba went missing near a cookie area in July. A day later, this video emerged of him kneeling on the floor with a bloodied face. Another one shows him being shot dead. His family believes he was killed by cookie men. These are his children. 
It's really hard for me to accept he's gone. My elder son keeps asking where he is. My husband was a good man. Tens of thousands are displaced in their own state, too afraid to return home. No dialogue yet between the two sides. People from both sides of the conflict are expecting Prime Minister Narendra Modi's national government to step in and resolve the crisis. They say they're disappointed that despite the severity of the violence for months, he didn't speak about it. And they say even now there are no concrete steps being taken on the ground. This is a Maitai bunker facing cookies in the hills. The number of armed civilians we've seen on both sides is striking. Most first held a weapon just a few months ago. The government says peace is returning. We found a conflict that continues to erupt. Yogita Lamai, BBC News, Manipur.